This is question number 6. We're told the equation kx squared plus 4x plus 5 minus k is equal to 0, where k is a constant, has two different real solutions for x. In part A for 3 marks, we need to show that k satisfies k squared minus 5k plus 4 is greater than 0. If this has two different real solutions for x, we can say the discriminant b squared minus 4ac will be greater than than zero. If we look at the quadratic, it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, so we can say that a will be equal to k, b will be equal to 4, and then c will be equal to the quantity 5 minus k. So using the discriminant, we can say on here now that b squared, that's going to be 4 squared minus 4 lots now of a, which is going to be k multiplied by c, which is 5 minus k, will be greater than 0. I'm just going to divide this through by 4, and we can say that 4 minus k multiplied by 5 minus k is going to be greater than 0. Expanding the brackets, we're going to have 4 minus 5k plus k squared is going to be greater than 0. And just rearranging, we can say k squared minus 5k plus 4 is greater than 0. So that's the first part done for 3 marks. You don't have to divide through by 4 here. You can go ahead and expand it out. Either way around, we should be able to show this for 3 marks. In part B, it says, hence, find the set of possible values of k. So here we have a quadratic inequality, and we can go ahead and factor this k minus 1 multiplied by k minus 4 will be greater than 0. So from here, we can see the critical values. We've got k is equal to 1, and then we have k is equal to 4. I'm just going to draw a quick sketch. So with the parabola, now we're going to have the critical values of 1 and 4. So let's put those on. So 1 and 4 are just going to be here, and let's put that one there. And our parabola will look something like so, so we'll come round. So this is 1, this is going to be 4. We want this to be greater than 0, which is going to be this part right here, and this part right here. So we can say from this now that k is going to be less than 1, or we have now k greater than 4. So those now are the set of possible values of k.